Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to use a tap gesture. Now in our sample application we're going to have an image view and when you double tap the image view we're going to have it so that it zooms in and then when we double click it's going to zoom back out again. So we're going to learn how to apply a tap gesture to a UI image view. And to get started, I'm going to create a new project in Xcode. So I'm going to create a new project, and it's going to be a single view application. So I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to name this Tap Gesture. And I'm only going to check off Automatic Reference Counting. And then click Next, and then create my project. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is drag in an image that I'm going to use for my example. So I'm just going to, you can use any image, I'm just going to drag it into my supporting files folder and make sure copy items is checked off and click finish. Next I'm going to go into my interface file. So I'm going to open the view controller nib file and I'm going to set up the user interface. So since our project is going to include an image view that we're going to tap, I'm going to find the image view and drag it onto the screen. And I'm going to make this a little smaller so that when we tap it, it will increase in size. And you'll be able to see the zoom feature. Now, to set up this, to put an image into it with it selected, I'm going to come over to the attributes panel and select the image. And to make sure that it stays in proportion, I'm going to change the mode from scale to fill to aspect fit. And I'm also going to make sure I check user interaction enabled and multiple touch checked off as well. Now I want to add a tap gesture to this image view. So in our objects, we also have a tap gesture recognizer. So I'm just going to drag this and put it right on top of my image view to connect it to that image view. And then you can see in the objects panel over here, it's added a tap gesture recognizer. Now it doesn't really look like it's connected to this, but if we select it and then right click, we can see that it is referencing the image view as a gesture recognizer. So what this is doing is it's actually attaching this gesture recognizer to the UI image view. And then we have to create a method to handle, well, what should it do when that gesture is recognized? So to set that up, I'm going to go into the assistant editor mode, and I'm going to hide the utilities panel so that we have a little more room here. And we're going to set this up as an outlet. So I'm going to right click and drag from my image view into my header file. and it's going to be an outlet type of connection because we're going to be referring to this when it recognizes the gesture. And so we're going to refer to it as image view. And I'll click connect. Now when the gesture is recognized, we want it to do something. So we're going to create and connect a method to our tap gesture recognizer. So I'm going to select that in the view, and I'm going to right click and drag from the tap gesture recognizer into my header file. And instead of an outlet, this is going to cause an action. And we'll say the action is handle tap, and we'll click connect. Now this is a special type of ID action. Typically we've just been okay with sending ID sender, but we're going to be sending the type of gesture that it should be recognizing. So instead of ID, this is going to be a UI gesture recognizer. And a space and an asterisk in here. So when our UI image view recognizes that there's a gesture, it's going to be sending the gesture information to our handle tap method in our implementation file. So I think that's all the setup that we need to do in that header file. I'm going to 
go back out of the assistant editor mode and I'm going to pop open the utility panel again just really quickly. I'm going to select the gesture recognizer and then if you note on the attributes panel over here is what we can set up for our tap gesture. So we can specify the number of taps. So this would be a single tap right now and I'm going to set it for two taps. So we have to double tap in order to get the image to zoom in and double tap to zoom back out again. But you can increase this up pretty high. I've gone as high as like 10 or 12 just to see where it goes and you know you could really drive your users crazy and make them tap 20 times if you want but I'm just going to be satisfied with a simple double tap. Okay next let's go into the implementation file. Now it synthesized our image view and it also created at the bottom our IB action for handle tap. So I'm just going to select this and move it up to the top of our methods just because it's easier to see this in the video when it's higher up on the screen. Now we still have it set up as an ID sender. So we need to make this match the other one in our header file. So this is the type that's being returned here is a UI gesture recognizer. And so that's the type of information it can expect to get when receiving this action. Now let's just do a simple check to make sure that it is going to recognize this before we get much further into our code. So let's just do a simple NS log statement so we can print something out to our screen and, and so that we know. So I'm just going to say that it was tapped. So now I'm going to run this in my simulator and see if we get our log statement to show. Okay, so here is our view, and if I double tap, yes, we have our tapped message popping up here. So it is recognizing the gesture. So now we can move on and have it do something a little more interesting than just printing a log statement. So I'm going to comment that line out, and we'll add some more code in here. I'm going to start with an if statement and we're going to say if the sender view content mode is equal to UI view content mode and I'm going to choose scale aspect fit. So this is our check. We're looking to see if the content mode of the view is set to scale aspect fit. And if I click on this in the utility panel in the quick help we can see this is referring to scaling the content to fit the size of the view, maintaining the aspect ratio. So when I set that up in my view, I set this up for the mode to be aspect fit. So that's what this is referring to. Now just so that you can get an idea, what we're going to do is if it's set for aspect fit and they double click, we want it to go to center and you can see how it zooms in and centers the image. So what we're going to be doing is toggling this mode back and forth depending on when the user double taps. So if it's in aspect fit it's going to change it to center and if it's in center it's going to toggle it back to aspect fit. Easy enough? So let's put it into code. So if the content mode is scale aspect fit then what we wanted to do is sender view content mode is equal to UI view content mode and we want to choose center else now this is popping up with um, the curly braces for our else statement in here and like in other several programming languages if you only have one line of code in an if or one line of code in an else block then you don't have to have the curly braces. So that's why we don't have them up here after this if. So it kind of helps to simplify things if you don't put the curly braces in if you only have one line. So we're only going to have one here and this is going to be sender view content mode is going to be equal to UI view content mode scale aspect fit. 
So pretty much if it is aspect fit, change it to mode center. And if it's not aspect fit, it is mode center and we want to change it back to aspect fit. So let me save this and try running it in the simulator. And if I double click, she zooms in to be center and double click and she zooms back out. So that's how to add a tap gesture to a UI image view. And I have other tutorials that are available on the pinch gesture, rotate, the pan, the swipe, and the long press gestures. So check those out and enjoy.